Ladies and gentlemen, why were you laughing? Oh, no. what, what, what is funny? Oh, nothing be funny. Do you smoke? No. So then why don't you laugh, laugh like I'm that? I'm just happy. That what? That um somebody apologize. Who? Napu? Yeah, he get apologies, so he can apologize. That's not funny, bro. I know it's not funny. It's not funny. Yeah. They, they, they you, you are never funny. funny. You have never been funny. True. Why do you always want to trivialize important issues? Eh? Why do you always want to trivialize important the issues? The issue already then trivialize. Nobody trivializes anything. The guy did, said something which was denigrating to one of the greatest presidents this country has the ever seen. The greatest president. One of the Shara, bro. Is greatest. To me, is greatest. To me, he's one of the greatest. All right. Moku, Moku, move on. Yeah, Moku, Vim, move on. When he came to apologize, this morning, he, he took to Twitter to apologize. Me, I wanted him to stand on business. I really wanted him to stand on business. Yeah, because yesterday, he, he go explain. Yes. You explained telling us that mm. if you speak the truth in Ghana, Ghanaians don't like. Mm. If you lie, that'd be when they heal you. So I was thinking there is no apology. Mm. Because on social media after that, the apparatchiks mm. were defending the statement. So I wasn't expecting any apology at all. Mm. This morning I wake up, I see, see, I am, I am sorry. And I, then, then, oh. Yeah, so Napo is basically, this is like a tactical strategy to deflate that um, arrogance, you know, conversation. I, I understand where he's coming from. You see... Me, when, when we did that video, I said, say, I am not against people doing comparisons or comparative analysis for two presidents. It's, it's not a bad thing. And yeah, bring your president. Let me bring my, my president. president. If you believe Nkrumah did more for Ghana than any other president, you put him down. You list his achievement. Devoid of emotions and everything. Then we could do the comparison. But where he had, like people had the issue was the way, the tone, the the the... Uh, on the same tone of how you said now, nah, you are on no, that'd be where we had a problem. Ghana, the Chichi, Ghana, Bakosama, President Kufu had to call retirement. But if you be sad case, we will say, a free side of Chichi, Ghana from 1957, Ebe Kane, the new president, be our boy Ghana, Chen, and Abdul Dakar Kufu. Me say, a free side of 1957, Ebe Kane, more from a crime in Kruba, no, more from a. And you know, I, like, bro, and Chroma be an icon beyond Ghana. Yesterday, Udima was posting pictures of where a, like, a, a university. Gambia, bro, yeah. when you, bro, when you mention Chroma's name in the African community, it's like a pan Africanist. Kwame Chroma is Kwame Chroma beyond Ghana. So, what touching, I want to touch it, a lot of Everybody. things. But I am glad that he has come out to apologize. But the reason why people are trivializing the apology, they say, if you not go, if you go there was a day, go stand on business. Explain then, yourself. You, you understand? Because the, for the that was a video inside, you could have said, say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Man, then maybe the you. next day you release this one. So, so for someone who is actually uh, vying for the position of, uh, you know, vice president, president or something like that, you know, it's like today you are this, tomorrow you are that. You can't be decisive it's on issues so like that. Then fact. how do we transcend this conversation? Because today you can say this, tomorrow yes. you tell us that you are not saying yeah. this. Because yesterday, the way he speak mm -hmm. for the chief's palace, that means, okay, you are mm -hmm. standing on business. Yeah. <laughs> So now we can't defend you anymore. So me, this apology, I feel like they asked him to apologize. Yeah, but why was he shouting in apology? Though? <laughs> you get the apology. Caps, caps lock near there. I was saying, I did not mean to, de to denigrate former president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, or any other president. Oh, okay. So actually, this wasn't about Nkrumah alone. Okay. You know Kufu, the yeah, mention Kufu, Kufu in yeah, Mahama. and Tens. Mahama and Tens. So yeah. So my statement last Tuesday, 9th July, in Kumasi on the performance of President Kufu Ado has elicited varied reactions. The statement reflects my personal opinion about President Kufuado's impact relative to other presidents we have had. 
I wish to emphasize that I never meant to disrespect our former president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, or any of our former head of state, including my own grand uncle and mentor, Mr. John Ajikum Kufuo. I note the concerns raised by my statement. I apologize sincerely and regret my discomfort any and regret any discomfort caused. Thank you, Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe, running me to MPP presidential candidate. You know, sign though. You see the, the title, no? I say, I did not mean that. He don't, typed don't. like Odumodu yeah, Black. Odumodu Black, yes. <laughs> Odumodu Napo. But, but you see, Sean, you see the, um, the third paragraph. Mm -hmm. I wish to emphasize that I never meant to disrespect our former president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, or any of our former head of states, including my own grand uncle and mentor, John Ajikun Kufu. Mm -hmm. But, Sean, you see, if you knew all this, why do you make a statement like that? Listen, and I'm, that's what I'm saying. Is that you see, it, see on, on a platform like that, ne, if you are not calculated, and this will be one thing a lot of the people within the work with Napo, they have tried to accommodate, to control, because he be that person where he go talk in mind. No matter what, he go flow in mind. He will feel like, bro, make I just talk, talk my mind, my mind. Now this conversation where he carry come outside, maybe this be something where he do at the he, people they banter on them internally. Yeah, it's normal not to like and chroma. You know, kill him. It's normal not to like him. It's normal to compare him to some people. You understand? But internally, you go feel do him. for somebody who is standing for a position like that. Right now, you are in the public domain. You don't read echo sentiments that have been discussed in the chambers. You have to be calculated with your utterance. You have politicians, they have mastered the art of embellishment. Where the, this color say be this, I'm to say black. Black. Bro, would you go ahead and do it? That is all politicians do. It's political marketing 101. If you want to be that kind of person, bro, and in a society like, like this, the way we do, where even if you if you're like if you're a young person and you 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 stand up and you challenge status quo, they say you are arrogant and things exactly. based on your tone and things, like. In a, in, a, in, a, in a society where somebody go feel, a rich man go get down from his car, go buy a coffee, broke man, then he go talk, say he be, uh, yeah, be humble, humble and things. Yeah. Fake humility and things. Now, bro, this be how, when a society, that, that be how it be structured. So you have to be calculated with your utterances because at the end of the day, they will use it against you. And listen, the opposition will weaponize this. They know that Nkrumah is loved by a lot of people they, beyond the CPP party. Nkrumah is not about CPP. Nkrumah is like... But when we mention Kuma, there's Ghana. But you travel to African country, where do you come from? Ghana. Oh, oh Kwame Nkrumah. Nkrumah that is the first person they the mention. So it is beyond CPP and just Kwame Nkrumah and what he built. He is an icon. He is a Pan-Africanist. He is that guy. So he could have just said that, oh, Akufuado has outperformed. Oh, yeah. Kufu self, you know, if you take going talk. Make use. Kufu. Just use. No, no. Make you not know, even try Kufu. I said the closest to Kwame and Kroma is Kufu. And people were in the comment section saying, you say, it's a lie. And I'm going to say, okay, if it's a lie, name the other president you think. The, is, I was seeing Rollins in the comments. Rollins? Section. Yes, I was him. seeing Rollins and the GD. Rollins is yeah. the closest to Kwame and Kroma when it yeah. comes to infrastructure development in the history of politics in this country. That's the comment. Vimus Paribus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so media, me. You see, mm -hmm. after making this thing, Mm -hmm. leaders the of the party the mm -hmm. I feel like going to the chief's palace mm -hmm. what he go talk it cause every what say Bibia because imagine you destroy, you, you destroy everything that's why mm -hmm. Ghanaians would even consider this apology yeah, because I've, I've when he was speaking when he was speaking that day people say well, you don't have a script and you are speaking you can say something that you are not that is his see. problem after you have said it you just have to come out and, oh but man can he. I said it, but I didn't say it well. Then you apologize. Mm. But he pushed away from apology, telling Ghanaians that when you speak the truth, I can tell you that this apology is trying to tell us that he spoke the truth, but Ghanaians don't want to agree. So he decided to lie to us. Mm. That is what we have here. Yeah, and you see, and that be sentiment a lot of like when you go through when you do sentiment analysis in the comment section and the quoted replies, you they see say people say like he fooled. He food yeah. like he food or like he, he couldn't stand on business and things, which is okay. What I'm what I'm saying is that you know they mean say this apology, you no, know they mean anything. You understand? He he said something where you know they make sense, or you know they make sense to a lot of people or some people. He has come out to apologize, make could move past him. And Chroma came to do whatever he has done, he is gone. Don't need to, to do that right now. Oh, yeah, you are not contesting against Nkrumah. You are not contesting against Kufu. You are contesting against John Ramani Mahama and Professor Nana Jane. Yeah. Do your comparisons and, and let it end the Encheda. 
Because at the end of the day, don't, bro, don't do it. Don't even do it. And the people around Napo, therefore, be very, 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 bro. See, this be where the job day. Politics is about perception. Akufuado suffered the arrogance tag for a very long time, even True. till today. <laughs> till today. The day is, you know, greet the chief said, yes, that is the man. At some point, Akufu, do, did you see the tone Akufuado was using to communicate to people as compared to when he won the election? That is how politicians behave. Like, the, the, a wolf, Gofi, Gofi, Gofi can't stand in front of you and say, when, I, when I'm vote, voted into power, I'll become a vegetarian. <laughs> A wolf. Like, yes. Because and people, of the tone. Because of the tone, because of the way he's communicating, you need to convince people. Yeah. And in the, in the process of convincing, bro, you have to say things where it will please them. And yes, that's something that will trigger their emotions. Exactly. You can't be the, like, me, I have my, me, I, no, you, you can only have your opinion when you are doing YouTube. True. Like, when you want to appeal to the emotions of the people that are going to vote for you, you don't go and stand there and say, say hey, mm -hmm. from time to... No, bro. And Napo has said a lot of things in the past. And you see, if Napo, I am of the assertion that if Napo was a minister and he said this thing, he, would, he was never going to apologize. True. If Napo was a minister and he said this, the, 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 the ECG thing. I haven't seen any time table, so my, my people are calling for it. You bring a time table. What do you mean? The ECG says that there's no timetable coming. Why do you want to bring a timetable? What purpose? Why, why, why would somebody get up and wish evil or bad for the country? No, it's, it's not about how bad it is. There is a but sense please show, when it is not planned, when it's not planned, you can't tell the person. So, the... Is it, is it, is it, is it, were you in Ghana and Did you live in this country Did you live in this country and Did you live in this country and Did you live in this He never apologized. No, 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 no. 16. I didn't see the defense in anywhere. I didn't see. The two opposition will catch a baby set. They are going to bail. Some of the fact you see the first issue. Come on, flood into Egypt. The finance minister, you get the stake. Not the same. Which will lead to come on, fall on a demonstration. Now, would that be fair? Ah! He who comes to the equity table must come with clear hands. A government has brought a fair and a rational budget. Why should you hold the gospel to ransom? Some whole stronghold of a share budget. So, you see, he has, he has realized that the space that he did, no, bro. It's not for only MPP. You're not going, no. You are trying, bro. MPP people alone, know they can't vote for you. You have floating voters. Yes. You have people that, bro. So, bro, you better get your things right. Yes, sir, dear. And yes, sir, dear. Oh, yes. And you see, this thing, when you go to the comment section, Obiase, Obiase Charlie, everybody vex. Everybody vex. After the statement, you could have issued this statement. We move. Yes. Apologize, bro. Share, apologizing, no, they mean say you don't have your opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you just need to do that sentiment analysis and understand that, bro. As someone can, what can you hear? Yeah. Then let us move on. I am not standing for president. I can sit here and say Akufuado is a better president than Nkrumah. Nobody, Nobody will can do me anything. You, you are the one seeking the mandate of the people. And the people know that you are seeking mandate from no. And Nkrumah has endeared himself to them. That is all we know. That is who we know. That is who we f know, bro. That is what we have been taught in social studies and government. Who won independence for us? Nkrumah. Kwame Nkrumah's name. Even if he didn't do it individually, it is always his, his name, name that is being trumpeted. The big sis I understand there is Dan Kobuzia Dombo tradition, but at the end of the day, Nkrumah is going to be Nkrumah. So, please, and you see, I made a shout to him for doing this thing. I know say it'd be hard. It'd be very, 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 look at the caption. I did not mean to denigrate former president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah or any other president in, in, in caps. You mean say, Charlie? But what did he mean? Mm -hmm. What did he mean? No. He said, I did not mean to denigrate former president in Kruma or any other president. Mm -hmm. So what did he mean? No. So right now, no, people in fact said what based on what he said and the tone and the way he said it. No, he was denigrating in Kruma. But right now he has come out to say, he said no, he wasn't doing that out to any other leader. But maybe he was trying to just do a comparative analysis for achievement. So if it for achievement, there's not me. For where I sit, there's nothing wrong. He is an MPP person. You don't expect him to come out and say, say a leader of another political party has, uh, has outperformed his leader. Do you understand where I'm coming from? He is an MPP person. So he believes Akufuado has done more for Ghana than Nkrumah. That is his opinion. The reason why people are mad, and I see a lot of people are mad, is because of how he said it. You can, you're Nkrumah. What the hell do you mean? 
But if you come and sit here, people go on radio stations and TV and defend their leaders. Uh, if Sami JV come and sit here, he's not going to say uh, Akufuado has outperformed Mahama. He will say Mahama has outperformed uh, uh, Akufuado. And it is political interest. So if you disagree with that one, then you banter. Politics is about banter. <sighs> Tell me, my submissions are not feeling good, bro. Politics, they be. <sighs> what do you have to say? What point? What no, 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 no. I mean, you, you have spoken. Uh, say your own. I don't know. so many. You say you, they can argue. You say yes. The, 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 I, I said it in the first see, video. I, I understand where you are coming from. No problem. I feel like if some things are clear and obvious, you mm -hmm. don't have to come and then come and lie to people. Mm -hmm. I don't think, I think after that, um, the NDC uh, presidential candidates say, they, their government have worked, but their government have never worked than the um, president in Chroma. Okay. From where I sit, mm -hmm. me, I know that the MPP has not worked. No. Nanado Danko has not worked mm -hmm. more than President Nkrumah. That is he beautiful. That is the beauty he never of... Work. Yes, so that is the beauty of democracy. From what me, I see... Exactly. He never so worked. Napo said, oh, they make you come out the your Nkrumah from inside. Napo wanted to say that Ekufuado has outperformed what Nkrumah in terms of infrastructure development or overall development of Ghana. No problem. You are sitting here saying, say, based on what you have seen, Nkrumah did more for Ghana than Ekufuado. That is the beauty of democracy. No, this is the beauty of democracy. And that is how a democratic dispensation has to work. It's not democracy. So if you believe in Chroma has outwork MPP, state your fact and let us move on. Simple. I will never sit here and say that what brought me. I don't have any problem with politicians doing comparative analysis. That is the point of. Even it. if it's a lie, bro, 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 you have to prove beyond reasonable doubt that it is a lie. Now Paul can back his statement with facts. He is a communicator. Before he became a. Uh, uh, um, the vice presidential uh, running mate or whatever. And he was a communicator. They have facts. They have the, 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 the tracker. It is your duty as a, a citizen to infer what, whether whatever he's saying is right or if he says he lie or he lie or not. But if he can back it, it is a statement of fact. So I do not have a problem with the comparison. The tone and the condescending nature of the way he put it out there, that is what has triggered a lot of Ghanaians. If Napo can prove beyond reasonable doubt that Akufuado has out, um, outperformed uh, Nkrumah with facts and evidence, ah, Masa, what do you think politics is about? Man, you know, Mekazi Nkrumah has outperformed uh, Akufuado. How, how, what, what, what the hell? No, it doesn't work like that. This video is brought to you by Tap Tap Send. Send money from US, UK, Europe, Canada, anywhere to Ghana without paying any fee on it. Also, don't forget to use the promo code YAWA and the rating. Right now, we will see the rating. Tap Tap Send will hold you down. Just download on Google Play or Apple Store. Use the promo code YAWA and send money. Oh, we can. No. Good. Yapon. Yeah,